Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> That's the Eurogun on 25 meters with the JSP 18 grain. Welcome to Airbros Review SA. I'm Carl. And I'm John. Welcome to the internet. Today we're going to do the unboxing of the Eurogun in 0.22. So come a little closer, internet. Let me show you. Look at that beauty. So this Eurogun comes with this beautiful bag that you see here today with two amazing straps to keep your gun nice and secure. This one's fresh off the airplane and it's got a few little goodies for us here today. So I think first I'll take you through this. So obviously we've got in this box is a few spares. We've got a little manual over here. I'm going to give you some of the deep and dark, dark dirty secrets about this gun. So it comes with two magazines, as you can see here, a little pen for your coloring in book as well. All right, just kidding. This is for your targets. It's got a little vernier here for you to measure your groupings, which I think is quite nice. And um, this regulator over here, yeah, it's the full station. Uh, it's one of the kind full stations that you get with your gun. Not many air gun manufacturers bring it with. But uh, this uh, full station, you can put on uh, any dive cylinder. Uh, obviously the ones with uh, this fitting in the front. Uh, it can allow 300 bar to go through. So if you open up your dive cylinder and you're not regulating it with your wrist to open it up, it only allows a certain amount of air very slowly to fill up your gun so you won't get make a damage it. Now, put a little key ring so that everybody knows you're a big player. Um, this one over here that we've got um, is in 0.22. Um, our barrel length is 570 millimeters long. The tank is 530 cc's. I think I'm just gonna move it here for us quickly. And if you have a look here in the front, you also have module style silencing. So you can add more moduling um, silencer pieces to make it more quieter. Or it's got a half inch UNF in the front so you can install a nice Donny FL silencer or whichever one you would like to put on yourself. I'm sure Carl, this has actually got quite a good weight to it as well. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty nice. Uh, the way it is with the handle, yeah, with the way you were holding it, it looked pretty yeah. firm into your hands. It does, it's got a very good weight to it as well. Yeah. yeah. I think on this cheek piece as well, being a left-handed shooter straight out the bat, it just feels straight comfortable. And the weight of it is about 3.5 kgs without any scope mounted to it. It's got an arc rail on the side here that you can install any other little goodies that you want like a scope mount for light or something whatever you need on the side here even a laser um it does have a picatinny rail here at the bottom so you can install your bipod or even in the front here you can put other um, picatinny rails or something for let's say a uh, sling to carry it around um, i see the trigger uh, is quite nice it's it's metal uh, it suits your finger quite lacquer and the nicest thing here is it's got the safety right here the ergonomics of that is pretty spot on so while you're shooting you don't have to remove your finger or your whole hand to get to the trigger um, one good thing about this is you can get it from left side cocking or to the right hand, right hand side cocking lever but the left hand side for the right hand shooters it's going to be quite nice and easy to use. As you can see, it's quite light. I'll put it in my shoulder. You've got your left hand free, your fingers on the trigger, and you can just keep on loading and fire, 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 fire. So you don't have to take your eye off your scope at all. So it could be a quick, repetitive shooter as well. Um, you can decock the gun where you have to hold it back, pull the trigger, and let it go so that you make it safe. Obviously, remember. If your magazine is in and you do decock it, you're going to put then pellets in your barrel. So I would rather then cock it, remove your magazine, hold this, take it out, decock it, then you won't have any pellet in your barrel. 
because if you're going to reload it again, you're going to put about another pellet in the barrel. And that's what we're all about here. It's about safety at Air Bros Review. So thank you for that, Carl. I think um, just looking at the nice finish on this tank itself, eh, I mean, you'll see it later in the video or in the photos that Carl's going to put up. Um, it's actually like a magnificently finished gun. The wood feels amazing. The cocking, decocking, the trigger squeeze, everything is beautiful. Yeah, so uh, one other thing I want to mention, if you have a look at this design of this magazine, it's not plasticky, it is made out of aluminium, It's the, the design of it is quite robust. And I mean, ergonomic. Ergonomic, it looks pretty cool, it does say 225.5, um, yeah, I think it's a 12 shot, uh, you get two of them, and let's go do, um, or let's go install a scope. I think we've got the Valiant scope. Yes. Yeah, so this is a new scope that we have here at Pelagans.com. This is the new Valiant scope. <coughs> so let me, we are using the Eagle Vision scope cam unit with a GoPro 7, with a GoPro 7 lens as well. This is how we can capture those moments, how we shoot through the scope. Well, we can have a look through it as well when you can see what the camera sees. So, let me just remove this. It's pretty easy. Look how quick and that was just to take it off. Quick and easy to set up. So, this is a 5 to 20 by 50 Valiant scope. It's got half mill dots and it's got the normal standard mill dot reticle as you'll see on the video just now when we do the 50 meter grouping. It is quite clear. Normally, when you do take the scope and you put it on its last magnification, which is then 20, some of the other scopes will go a bit, how can I say, a bit foggy. This one, it doesn't look foggy at all. It looks very clear. So it comes with the sunshade and your flip-up covers. Obviously, it also comes with your side parallax wheel for more finer adjustments. We've seen that work beautifully in the past. Yeah, it really does help quite a lot. It depends on person to person. A lot of people like them in the front. We like it on the side here. Yeah. It even has illuminated reticles. It's got from one until five. And so that what means is if you put it on one, it's quite dim. And if you go to five, it's on its brightest. So you've got red and green colored reticles here. I think that's pretty cool. So once the sun goes down a little bit and you struggle to see the crosshairs, just put that one on to the brightness that you like and the color as obviously meaning green or red and you'll still be able to see where your cross is showing at and you can safely take out or shoot whatever you are shooting at that time of the day. Um, it's got nice audible turrets, if you can hear them. I hope you can hear them, but yeah, it's audible. So it's a pull up and then you can turn it. And then obviously you can remove this with a coin or with a flat screwdriver just to re-zero it. So you would loosen that silver part there, which is the screw, take it off and then put the zero on that little button there so you know that is zeroed at whatever distance you zeroed it at. So we're going to do a five shot grouping at 50 meters. We're going to quickly put this on that Eurigun Walnut. It's, look, it's pretty awesome looking air gun. I mean this thing is going to look pretty cool on this gun here. I mean obviously you can take off the sun sunshade in the front here to make it a little bit shorter or the look it will change the look. But definitely, today is quite bright out there. We're going to put on the sunshade so it can help with the clarity of uh, the GoPro looking through the camera there. So enough talking. Let's put this on. I'm keen to see how this thing is going to shoot. And let's see how it does downrange. So we'll see you just in a bit. Let's go and install this beautiful Valiant scope. Cut! Boom! <laughs> And welcome back to Air Bros Review. We're now downrange with the Eurogun in 0.22. Um, we're going to shoot a five shot grouping on 50 meters. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this gun as we go along. Let's get into it. Sure. This thing is a ninja. So I know we always sound very positive about our firearms, but I'm telling you something. With this Eurogun, you really do get what you pay for. This is um, 800. something special. So today I'm taking my time a bit. 
so that you can actually see what we're doing down here. Now obviously you can change this rail from left to right if you want to. Um, we just haven't had the time to do it today for me. So once again I'm just adapting to the situation and it's working out quite nicely. We've got a beautiful day down here as you can see through the scope site. That's it, we've got one more. And then we're through. So naturally you can put shot for shot down range if you want to. I'm just, uh, I'm still a novice, so I think everybody knows that. So uh, for my shooting capabilities, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, really a special treat today with Airbros reviews. So um, we've got 75 shots on a full tank. Um, shooting consistently, as you can hear, at about between 880 feet per second with the JSB 18 grains. Um, these uh, these jumbo heavies are really something else. Um, I think also what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one more shot, and on this we're just going to gauge the accuracy over here. So I want you to see this in real time, so that you can see there's no funny business. Nine hundred two. Now, if anybody knows what a pig rail looks like, I just shot that to the ring about as small as a wedding ring at 50 meters with the very little setup so as you can see this is with ease definitely competition grade fire or gun this one yeah is the yeti in its natural habitat with the urigan walnut in 0.22 even the dog doesn't know what's happening because it thinks it's a bush walking around but anyway it's really loving the gun look at that really liking the gun we are at 50 meters. Jean did a nice five shot grouping. If you look from the furthest center to center, yeah, I would say it would be that one because that one is closer. So it is around about, say, 19 and a half millimeters that group size, uh, which isn't too bad considering it was a left handed shooter shooting here. He's pretty good at that. Cut. Is that the closing video now? They must go and buy it now. <laughs> so here we go folks. As you can see, this thing is uh, maybe even one millimeter thick, I'm not sure. But for that distance, um, shooting with the JSB 18 grain with the Eurogun, it's a combination that can't be beat. So do yourself a favor, get in your car right now, come down to pelletguns.com, get you one of these and send us your videos. Thank you very much. Cheers guys. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video and tell us what you think about this video. Have a good day and have a safe one. Bye.